Hello and Happy New Year! Today we'll talk about the top 8 common questions about option fee and option period here in Texas. First, what is an option fee or option money? By the way, I'll be using these two terms interchangeably. Second, what is an option period? Third, should I deliver the buyer's option fee to the tile company? Four, when should option fee or option money be delivered? Five, how to calculate the option fee deadline? Six, what is the difference between option fee versus earnest money? Seven, can the seller cash out the option fee check immediately? Last but not least, where is the option fee indicated in the Texas real estate contract? By the way, watch till the end of the video because you'll not want to miss my ultimate home buyer's guide. It is available now and it will be yours for free. Let's answer the top eight questions right now. Before anything else, a disclaimer that I'm not an attorney. This video is for informational purposes only and should not be construed or considered as legal advice. Contact your attorney if you have any questions pertaining to your case. So on to our first question. What is option fee or option money? It is a fee or money paid by the buyer to the seller to buy a certain amount of time in order to do their due diligence. Example, home inspection. Take note, this fee is payable to the seller and is non-refundable if the buyer decides to terminate. As long as it is indicated in the contract, it can be credited to the buyer if the buyer decides to continue. It is critical to work with an experienced buyer's agent to make sure that this part of the contract is completed. Second, what is an option period? If you notice, when you see a listing that has a status of OP, it means option pending. It is the same as option period wherein the option fee was paid to the seller, changing the status from active to OP. It is also a specified number of days where the buyer has the option and or unrestricted right to terminate. Obviously, the longer the option period, it's an advantage to the buyer rather than the seller. But the higher the option fee, it's an advantage to the seller rather than the buyer. Number three, should I deliver the buyer's option fee to the tile company? Actually, the answer to this question is a big no. Based on the Texas residential contract, option fee is payable to the seller and delivered directly to the seller within three days after the effective date of contract. Open communication with a listing agent is a must to make sure that all parties are in the same page. Number four, when should the option fee be delivered? Based on my previous response, the time to deliver the option fee to the seller is within three days after the effective date of contract. It is not affected by the weekend nor any legal holidays. How to calculate the option fee deadline? Let's say both parties sign January 1st. This date is now called the effective date. Let's say the buyer paid the seller an option money or fee of $100 for 10 days. Day 1 starts after effective date, which is January 2nd. Since it is a 10-day option period, the deadline will be January 11th at 5 p.m. local time. In other words, if the buyer wishes to terminate or exercise his or her option, he or she must provide the notice to the seller on or before January 11th. The latest is by 5 p.m. local time. Local time is based on where the property is located. Holidays or weekends does not matter in the countdown of the number of days. What is the difference 
between option money versus earnest money. Aside from the amount, option fee or money is directly paid to the seller, while the earnest money is paid directly to a third-party escrow company, example, a tile company. To learn more about what an earnest money is, click the informational card above. I've included a video explaining earnest money. 7. Can a seller cash out the option fee check immediately? The answer to this question is yes. The seller can cash out the option fee check immediately. The seller is giving the buyer the freedom to terminate and to do their due diligence. So when the buyer decides to move forward, a buyer's agent should make sure that this fee is credited to the buyer at closing by indicating it in the contract. Last but not least, where is the option fee indicated in the Texas real estate contract? I've included a snapshot picture of the contract, particularly showing paragraph 23. I put a red circle mark on the area where it shows option fee is credited. This part should be checked in order to get a credit of the option fee that you paid to the seller should you decide to move forward or continue with the purchase. I hope you enjoyed the video and have learned a lot about option fee, option money, and option period. To be part of my insider real estate tips and secrets, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video and have questions, give me a thumbs up and comment with a question or a hello. I'll be glad to assist. As promised, my Ultimate Home Buyer's Guide is available for download. All you need to do is scroll down under this video in my description box and click the link. Again, thanks for watching. This is Jennifer Yainko. You are my priority for anything real estate, serving Houston, Tombow, Spring, and the surrounding cities. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!